Here's what it looked like from our perspective, Rory. This is at the third hole. Yeah, um, at 145 yards up the hill, it was just it was downwind, just a, a perfect wedge for me. Uh, and it was nice to leave it, nice to leave it uh, below the hole. And you went ahead and made that putt. Here we are at the seventh birdie putt. Yeah, I hit it over the green here, which I, um, I, I hit a great forearm, but um, you know it was an even better chip shot and nice to convert the birdie. Boy, big time tee shot at eight, just went over the back and here's your second shot. Yeah, uh, again, another another great drive and I uh, was pretty fortunate just to just to, to leave it where it did and it was a nice easy up and down. And it led to birdie. And what a nine iron you hit into the ninth hole setting yeah, up this birdie putt. Uh, again, got a little fortunate, was on the sprinklers and was able to drop it on the fairway, which made a, all the difference and uh, another good putt there. At the 10th, this is when we started to sense something special was going on. Yeah, I was out of position with my tee shot. I got it back into position and uh, you know, had another great nine iron in there to just to hold it on the back of that green was was great and another another good putt. How about this shot you executed at the 12th? Yeah, um, it, it wasn't. You know, there was a little bit of uh, tree bark beneath it, but it it, it really didn't. Uh, and and when you're out of the pine straw, you can get some spin like that. So I'm um, lucky that I had a shot there, and it's always nice to always nice to convert it. That green can be tricky. This was your birdie putt at 12. Yeah, I just needed to get it started and, and roll it down the hill and um, let gravity do the rest. So now you step up on the tee at 13, and we start saying this could be, who knows, maybe course record today. <laughs> yeah, um, I, that's all I was thinking at this point. And then, you know, a beautiful six iron from, from 218. Uh, and, you know, there's a few holes in the back nine that you don't really, you know, they're not birdie holes. Um, but to roll this in, that's when I started to think, you know, I think I was eight under through 13 at this, or yeah, eight under through 13 at this point. So I thought, you know, now I, now I have a chance. And you had some time to think about it on the tee at 14. And somehow you just, after a long wait, hit a gorgeous three wood here. Yeah, this was nice. Um, I got it a little out of the, the top of the club face. So it was a, that's what I thought. a, bit, a bit of a tumbler and uh, <laughs> it, it got it got going there and um, you know, it was absolutely perfect. You hit on back edge yesterday. I hit driver. driver over the green yesterday yeah. in the morning. So that's why, you know, I was reluctant to hit driver there today. That led to a two putt birdie. Now the birdie putt at 15. Yeah, this putt was big. It was a tough putt. There was a lot of break on it, as you can see. And, uh, you know, poured it right in the middle. and. You know, that's something I've been struggling with over the past few weeks. My putting hasn't been quite as good as I wanted to, but, um, you know, I was ro rolling it really good today. We didn't want to hex you, but just before this putt, we started to talk about 59. <laughs> if you've made it, we'll start really focusing on it, and you poured it in. 